February 9th and 10th, Thursday and Friday, the sun is in Aquarius and the moon is in Leo, which means it's a full moon. Dun, da, da, da. So when the sun and moon are exactly opposite, it is a big giant energy. We sleep less, there's more activity, there's more angst. People that are really sensitive start to feel like something's going off. People that are sensitive who know how to ground the energy feel energized. They feel like, wow, I feel so good. But here's the theme. Aquarians don't want to be normal and they don't want a lot of attention. They're trying so hard to not get attention, but they wear the weirdest clothes, so it's kind of curious. They step away from the norm. Leo, the opposite sign, wants all the attention. They want to feel seen and noticed and they want to call the shots and they want to be in control. And Aquarius secretly want to go in the back door and not do it up front, but they're still in control. So this polarity of wanting attention by the Leo and not wanting attention by Aquarius creates a real opposition. So in astrology, if you have an opposition in your chart that, that's, that is that strong, it's going to feel sometimes like you're polarized. Like one part wants to go out and be wild and crazy, and the other part wants to stay home. Or in this case, one part wants to stand away from the group and be really individualistic. The other part so wants approval and wants to fit in. So if you feel that split, your job is to activate the observer, to come in the middle of the chart, which is why you're watching these videos, to notice the opposition. And that's the gift of astrology. So you learn about your chart and you go, oh God, I have this polling opposite pull in my chart and it's so annoying. And then you go, oh wait, the observer. I can step out, I can have compassion, I can name it and suddenly I'm free. So that's really what's going on Thursday and Friday. And the big deal is there's three planets in Aries right now. There's Venus, there's Mars, and Uranus, which gives a really strong get up and go energy. So it amplifies the Leo and all that Aries together. So what I wanna to say to you is use your energy these few days to ask yourself, where do I need to move my energy to dispel the oppositions inside of me? Do I need to get up and go out and be wild? Do I need to stay home? Do I need to be really independent and individualistic? Or do I really want to seek approval and get my feelings of being satisfied by being around my family? That opposition inside all of us is being energized with all that fire in the sky. So you go ahead and ask yourself, where's the polarity in me and how do I find the observer? Astrology Answers asked me to tell you that the observer the objective witness is the single way out of how to deal with these pulls inside of your psyche. Otherwise, it's just a ping pong game and it feels so confusing.